An ellipse is a shape that results from viewing a circle at a different angle. I'm going to have a go at drawing a cylinder. Now the key thing to remember about a cylinder is it's actually circular at the top. Um, the shape of the ellipse here is a result from viewing the circle from a different angle. So if I just move the cylinder you can see that it's a circle. I'm just going to place it back. I'll put some white, white tack there just to help it so you can see going to start off and you might need to have a little go at practicing some ellipses like that uh, another way of doing it is if you do a little arch there and a little arch there and then just round off the ends like so you get that nice rounded shape uh, it's all about practice so practice until you get it right. I'm going to draw some parallel lines. One and two, like that. And inside those parallel lines, I'm going to have a go at just trying to render an ellipse there. And we're going to do the same shape at the bottom here. So don't think that the bottom is flat. It's exactly the same shape as that. So try and do that. Don't worry if you make a few mistakes, just go over it. We'll cover that at the end when we come to rendering it. Okay, so once you've got that shape, you can see you have the sides there. I'm just gonna block those in. Now it's a 2D shape, so we, we need to then start to render it in three dimensional. And remember those tonal studies that you did at school. I'm gonna start off with a dark edge on the side there, and I'm gradually going to bring that round to the front. You can see that it's quite dark at that side. So I'm just gonna blend in some tone and bring that round to the front, like so. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white there and then gradually, as I'm coming to the other side, it gets darker and darker as you reach the other side. So basically, that's your shape of the cylinder. Like that. Okay, now here, I can see that there's a dark area there. So I'm just going to shade in that side just a little bit and then bring that round like that kind of blend it in although I'm rushing you can take your time when you're doing that little bits at a time just try and blend that in and there you have your cylinder have a go